welcome to the Books of the Month show. I am your host, Dr. Marilyn Todman, filling in for Bishop O.C. Pringle. What a lineup we have for today. Books of the Month show. I have with you my special guest, Wanganda Shields. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good night to meet you. And me too. Yes. It's great to have you on the show. Um, I see that you are doing some great things. This is actually your second book. Is that yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And your book is called Coming Back. Yes. Beautiful cover. I see the, the, the image of an adult hand and a child hand. Tell me a little bit about this book, Coming Back. What's it all about? In Nigeria, where I come from, we believe that death is not the end of life, but that the dead will come. It's only just the body that deteriorates. The dead would come back over and over again to, to the next generation to live either the life they had led before or to li live a better life. That's our belief. Okay. And this book is actually about a young man who is his he had come back I'm sorry it's about a man who had come back in form mm -hmm. of his young uh, grandson okay and he has come back to relive not to relive his life but to live a better life to live a better life because, so your book mm -hmm. so Archie is, is that that's his name the grandfather the grandfather's name is Archie okay and Clint is his grandson. Clint. Okay. Clint, yes. What was the life about Archie before he passed the first time? Archie was a slave. He was brought to the area as a young slave, to a house slave, to a chief. And he had lived his life as a chief and then emancipated himself and became a big trader. And so when Christianity came to Arochukwu, it's, he was one of the first people to become a Christian. Mm -hmm. And he rose to become a, an elder in the church, in the Presbyterian church in the area. He did great things. And when he died, he was given a very big burial. Mm -hmm. So he came back. He wanted to relive his life, to live a better life. And he came back in the form of his grandson Clint. okay so you you've written this story based on your belief from where you came from yes and uh, based on your belief the it is when someone passes away their their body dies yes. but their spirit comes back into the form of a new body yes, someone yes. in the family yes. okay and so this story is about uh, the grandfather who is Archie he's coming back now to in for in, in the in his grandson Yes. Clint. Yes. Okay. Yes. So tell me about Clint. Clint he was born to the son of Archie. Okay. And the parents lived in Maryland. And he went to a university in Massachusetts. So he, when he came back, he had just entered into, been admitted into a law school. But he had ambivalent feeling about going to law school. He wanted really to be able to ex experience the life of the village where his grandparents had. So let's um, back up for a moment here because in your book, the, the book that you've written has a lot of information. You're very creative to even Thank create you. this and then think of of writing this, first of all, you are in fact a writer, mm -hmm. for sure. So I want our viewers to know a little bit more about um, Clint as he was coming up versus to his grandfather um, came up as a slave. So with Clint, he came up, was it different? Clint had just graduated from university. He had lived his whole life not really pro protected by his parents from everything happening mm -hmm. in, in the United States at that time. But he had always felt 
that he missed something. He wanted very much to go back to Nigeria, to go to Nigeria where he had never really been or lived, and to find out more about his background. And just he was just on the threshold of going to university when he suddenly decided, going to law school, when he suddenly decided that he didn't really want to go to law school. He would like to take a year off and visit Nigeria to find out more about his background. But he had a fight with his parents who didn't want him to go because they were afraid mm -hmm. of what he would experience and that he wasn't used to the life in Nigeria and that it would be very difficult for him. But he did persevere mm -hmm. and he went to Nigeria to try and find out more about his mm -hmm. background. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what was his findings? His father was a lawyer and his mother a medical doctor in Maryland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So here you've written a story called Coming Back. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want the reader to get out of this book as far as about your um, um, culture, the things that you believe in, and the story that you've written about this? What is it that you would want the, the viewer to get out of it, the reader? Well, this book was really directed to immigrants okay. in, in America. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that they needed to find out more about their background, mm -hmm. about the life that their parents had lived before coming to the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, Clint had went back to Nigeria and he was able to experience the rich culture of his, of where he came from. And he was able to connect with the life of his grandfather who was quite well known in the area and who had been there, brought there as a slave and had been able to grow and emancipate himself during the time in Nigeria when it was really, mm -hmm. it was a, top, a turbulent time in Nigeria because that was just when Christianity was being introduced mm -hmm. and when the British had just mounted a big expedition to conquer the area and to integrate that area into the, into Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So he had to experience all that. And he was then able to come back to United States and feel quite contented with the life he had to live now. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, based on the writings of your book here, the character Clint, I'm really intrigued with Clint here. Uh, based on the, the writing of your book with Clint and, and and based on your history, the things that you believe in, that one passes away and then it, is it a form of reincarnation? Would you say that? I, I, well, it's similar to reincarnation. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's... In, in effect, that's actually why the area took to Christianity. Mm -hmm. Because they, you know, they already believe that when you die, you come back. Mm -hmm. And so they didn't have any difficulty believing that Christ came back, mm -hmm. you know, after death. Mm -hmm. And that he appeared to a lot of his disciples. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they believe. Mm -hmm. And also Christianity really appealed to uh, the people of that area because they believed in one God. And, uh, and it was this one God that brought them all the way from East Africa to settle in that area and be able to uh, conquer more mm -hmm. or less the people who were already living in the area because they presented themselves as the people of one God. Mm -hmm. that they, were, they, they believed in it. Chuku, they believed in this one God, mm -hmm. and they used this one God as their shield against all the other people around them. So even though they they had their slaves, you know, the elderly mm -hmm. people had their, the chiefs had their slaves, the slaves quickly were the people who had accepted Christianity, and the slaves were really the 
people who flocked to the missionaries and went to school mm -hmm. and uh, to missionary schools and became educated. Whereas the people in the social, higher social class mm -hmm. didn't really want to send their children to school or to, to have anything to do with Christianity. Mm -hmm. But it's really the slaves who were, the, you know, the leaders mm -hmm. in, in the churches. Okay. That Matthew, it was the Presbyterian Church, mm -hmm. that the Scottish Presbyterian Church that came to the area and was able, able to uh, evangelize mm -hmm. in the whole area. So did the slaves there um, connect connect with what you your beliefs to Christianity? Did they connect the two together or or are they went away from that belief based on your characters in your book? No, no, no. They they still believed in Christianity because of because you know you have one God mm -hmm. which they already believed in and you have a, a Christ who rose mm -hmm. from the dead. And they also believe, well, we mm -hmm. have already believed in somebody came back mm -hmm. from the dead. So it's, well, it's not very difficult for us to believe mm -hmm. you know, that Christ mm -hmm. rose. So they just accepted it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so based on all of this, you put together this um, awesome book here, Coming Back. Um, very creative. How in the world did you think about writing all of this? Well, I, I have to confess to you that actually was based on the life of my grandfather. Okay, yeah, okay. It was based on the life of my mm -hmm. grandfather and uh, what he experienced, you know, uh, during his time in mm -hmm. the area. And, and it was my way of portraying his life. Yes, and your way of portraying his life and even celebrating his life. Yes, celebrating and, his life. And your way of celebrating his life again, this time with the character by the name of Clint. Yes. Who also was very successful. Yes. Very creative, very brilliant. Yes. 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 Those of you um, that are watching, you definitely want to consider getting a copy of the book coming back has some history on her heritage and great great writings about this creative woman thank you so much for coming on the show thank you too for having me thank you're welcome you're welcome you. we'll be right back with the next books of the month author <laughs>